down first. Okay? Very first. Remember, right here is the, the pastor, and there's Alex, and there's Jason, and there's gonna be you. <coughs> and you're gonna have little rose petals in here like this. And you're gonna put your hand in the air, and, and you're, you're gonna walk. I'll show you how. And you're gonna walk, and you're gonna go like this. I don't You do? Like yeah. this? Okay, show me how you're gonna do it. Um, stand over here and walk. Walk, walk to me right here. Ooh. Walk to me right here. Wow! Perfect. Perfect. Gently, like this. All the time. Okay, go. Yes, yes, both sides. Okay, good job. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Perfect. Sissy. <laughs> <laughs> using like this little round brush on my hair and like oh my god I had to wet my, I, like literally I was like I'm not a bridezilla at all because this is like the easiest wedding ever but I literally stopped her halfway through and I was like okay I'm just gonna do it myself like it was that bad um I said I wanted to blow out I said I want to fucking blow out and you're using a little round brush like I'm um, fucking
So you guys know I hate like big to-dos and big like phony events and stuff like that. Um, so I deliberately planned this wedding. So it was just like another weekend. The only difference was that I was in a wedding dress getting married at a chapel for 15 I mean, everyone was like, I can't believe you're so calm. And I was like, yeah, I mean, what's the big deal? Like, we want to get married. Like, we love each other. It's like, there's no, it's not like there's nothing to be nervous about. And we're just going to have dinner and then we're going to the casino. Like, it's just, you know, a fun weekend. It's not. I loved walking down the aisle. I feel like it's something that I've always not really thought about doing, but thought I should do. Um, and I loved drinking at the reception and of course the steak and then the roulette table at the end of the night. I think it's really dumb, honestly. Like it's just another reason to get a gift. I mean, is the, are the rings not enough? You know what I mean? And your life together, not enough. Um, but I'm just really happy that we're here because that year that we weren't together, I was like really sad. I mean, for me, he checked so many of these like boxes that I always looked for in someone. So I always hoped that he would be the one, but like it has to be a mutual thing, obviously. And then when we parted ways for a while, I was really sad. Of course she was. Um, Judy is like basically my best friend. Um, so it's just weird because she's a colleague, but she's also best friend. So it's like, you know, <laughs> we say we're like married. Um, yeah, we're just both really busy with work right now. And then like the construction in the house, like we always kind of have to be around. Um, but we both love Hawaii. He surfs and I love Hawaii. You guys know that. So we'll probably be there maybe July. I hate anything that's wedding. I hate the first dance. I hate the music. I hate a wedding venue. I hate the shitty food. I hate how it takes all day. I hate that it's like you drink all fucking day long at some stupid venue or location. Like I hate anything wedding. Okay, so one of the, my friends there booked her to do like an updo for her. And I was like, oh, I need like a blowout. So I was like, okay, that's the easiest thing. So she came, she's doing people's updos. They were really pretty. Then it came time for my blowout. She brings out like a, like a round brush like that big. Meanwhile, like my hair is like drying at this point. So it's already not good. Like I actually don't even love the color that because I just got my hair done this, whatever stuff. Long story short, who the fuck uses a round brush this big when you want a fucking blowout? So I stopped her when she was like only this much halfway through because she was like, she was like going over and over and over like on, and I feel like she was going to fucking fry my hair off. I was getting really pissed. So I stopped her and I don't usually do this, but I was like, no. So I went to look in the mirror and it was like straight and then like a little curl at the bottom. It was like disgusting. So I was like, oh no, the album's going to do it the rest of myself. So I went to the bathroom and I literally wet what she did and did it over myself. And it was like awful. Like my hair looked like shit, to be honest. Like it couldn't have looked any worse. I would have rather done the air dry thing. It even looked bad in the pictures. Like it just looked like nothing. What the fuck ever? I don't give a fuck. So with the wedding dress too, I went to one place and I chose a fucking dress. Like, I don't understand this, like paying millions of dollars for a dress you're going to wear for two minutes. I hate dresses. You know that I literally wanted to wear yoga pants and like a crop top. I'm not kidding. Or a skirt. You know what I mean? Um, okay. So I found this dress that it was really pretty, but it was long. And I'm like, no, I don't want a long dress. Like if I, I don't know. I, I never wear, do I ever wear long dresses? Like, no, I don't. Like I have amazing legs. Why the fuck would I hide my legs? Like stupid. So I saw this dress. Like, this would be so. This would be so pretty if it was cut like short and then had the long like skirt train in the back where it looked like a long, you know, veil because the veil like met with the skirt. It was anyway, it ended up being perfect. People were like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do that? Like, are you sure you want to do that? And I was like, yes. And cut it short too. Not like medium. Not like granny, like above the, above the like knee short, like cut it short. Okay. It has to be short. Like it's pretty, the like, back's long, like no. So of course, like my vision was amazing and I fucking loved it. And I hate fucking dresses, but, um, it was a beautiful dress at the reception. Cause I didn't want to get like trashed. We just had wine and my dad's a big wine collector. So he brought some really beautiful, expensive, it's called like a double Magnum. I don't know, like not a Magnum, but a double one. Um, and he presented it and it was really nice. It's not that I was emotional. It was just like, sometimes I think like, well, God, why are you so good to me? Because I really wanted like to be with Jason and we just weren't together at some point in my life. And then we got back together and now we're married. No, I did not. I just did my regular shit. And the thing is I was like having to redo my hair. So I was like frazzled about that. So then my sleepy drip was, my sleepy drip was like not on point. Like it really wasn't, but like whatever I went with it, the, the makeup wasn't the best. 